What's going on guys, John Santos, and in today's video, if you've been interested in buying wholesale and reselling products, we're gonna show you everything you're gonna need to do and register to get that done for your business. All right, so today I'm here at the Clark County Clerk's Office. This one is located in Las Vegas, and essentially it's the place where you wanna register your doing business as after you register your business. So essentially, if you're kind of confused as to what the hell I'm saying or what is going on, we're gonna break everything down for you guys to better understand how you register a business at the state level, get your doing business as name, and then register your wholesale resale permit so you're able to buy wholesale, resell, and more importantly, get access to a large variety of products from large companies that do not sell directly to the public. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys everything you're gonna to need to know. So make sure you stick around to the end where I'm also gonna share additional tips and some really cool resources with you guys. Awesome guys, so I'm gonna try to get this in before it gets super loud again. As you see, we're in the public area, so if any cars or weird trains come by, don't mind them. So essentially, the first thing that you're gonna wanna really do as you're setting up your business is you wanna register it at the state level. Whether you decide to do an LLC, a partnership, a sole proprietor, it's completely up to you. I have some videos up here that'll kind of break down a few of those different options that you have. But once you set that up, you're gonna to wanna to set up a DBA, which is a doing business as. And essentially that's what your business is actually gonna be publicly named or pro promoted as. So uh, essentially like all the casinos on the strip, you have the Caesars Entertainment, but then you have Caesars Palace and they have different, you know, different business names. So essentially that's exactly what you're gonna to wanna to also think about as you're registering your business. So at the Clark County Clerk's Office here, you could actually file your fictitious firm name and in your city and in your state, you'll be able to find a similar business or a similar service that your city or county also offers. All right, so just make sure to Google that up, look up fictitious firm name, and that'll allow you to get a doing business as name. All right, so I'm gonna go inside, we're gonna fill out some paperwork and show you guys what you can expect in that process. All right guys, now that you got your DBA paperwork, this will allow you to open up a bank account in your business name, which gets you one step closer to being able to buy wholesale for major companies. All right, there's still a few more steps that you're gonna need to take, so let's head on over to the home office where I show you where all of that goes down and what you're gonna need to do. All right, let's do it. Awesome guys, so now that you have your DBA, you're gonna be able to get a bank account, so make sure you go on and open up an account with a vendor or a branch that you trust, whether that's locally or whether that's online, it's completely up to you guys. Take a look into PayPal and so all the different third-party providers that you'll be able to store your accounts with and pay the Department of Revenue or the Department of Taxation. Um, essentially, what you're gonna do with that bank account is you're going to take that information that you had with the paperwork and you're gonna submit it so you open up an account under the business name and then you're going to take all that paperwork to the department of taxation or the department of revenue in your city or state all right so just look those up online whether you're located in california or you're located in new york everybody has a department of revenue or a department of taxation website and with that website you're able to submit the information that you just obtained and you're able to apply for that resale license. So once you have that resale license, you'll be that much closer to being able to buy wholesale. All right, so we're gonna jump onto the computer, but we're gonna go over those details right now so you guys will see how the registration process is in Las Vegas. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look up your Department of Taxation or your Department of Revenue on Google for the city or state where you're at. All right, so on this computer, as you can tell, um, this is the Nevada Department of Taxation. 
So in the Nevada Department of Taxation, there's all kinds of taxations and all kinds of ways for them to take your money and make sure that you're able to collect tax and fund the development of your city or county, all right? It's amazing, you gotta do it, and it's the only way for you to get your certificate. All right, so essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the online services. Um, you may or may not have online services, just make sure that you check that out. And then you go to Nevada Tax. On this website, you're gonna actually create an account. If you're new to it, you're gonna have to sign up for the account. And uh, essentially create your username, first name, last name, and once you're in, you'll be able to file and remit your taxes directly to your state online. And they also send uh, sometimes paper statements, uh, but for the most part for Nevada, everything is online now. In your state, it may be the same, it may not be. Maybe they require you to mail it in. That's how our city was back in the day. And uh, now everything's directly online. Cool guys, so getting your resale certificate, I wanna say is going to be the first step in you being able to buy wholesale. But there's gonna be something that you definitely wanna consider that a lot of people may or may not actually tell you. And essentially that's in order for you to actually buy wholesale from a lot of like the major brands like Bella Canvas or whether you wanna do business with any headwear or other accessory manufacturer. The thing that they're gonna to wanna to see is that your business is actually real and it has a website and it has products and it has designs and it has a market. Okay, so sometimes they won't approve people if you don't already have a website up and you're not already showing that you are in business. So it is like a catch-22 in a way because of the fact that a lot of the times you'll need the wholesale apparel to launch your brand. So a way that you really gotta look at it is you have to launch some things first in order for you to show that you are real and that you do qualify to be a buyer for their products. So to show that you are in business, you are gonna need a website and then you're gonna need some designs and you need some products out and actually displaying on, on social media to show people that you are real. Because a lot of the times, people that apply for this, there's been people that always, historically people abuse whatever policies people put out. So essentially, they don't want people to just buy wholesale and resell on the black market and then mark it up and they're not using it for their own brand if they're not established to do business that way. All right, so what I mean by that is wholesale distributors and wholesale companies will qualify you as a wholesale buyer if you land onto one of these three qualifications. Now there's a couple others that may be out, but these are the more common ones that you'll run into online. All right, they'll approve you if you are a screen printer, meaning that they'll approve you if you're a screen printer or like a service business, meaning that you actually have a factory and you're printing products for other consumers. All right, so that's a print shop, an embroidery shop, whatever that may be. They'll approve you if you have that business and you submit your application in that manner. All right, and then the other way that they'll approve you is if you are a distributor for wholesale products. But what that means is you are set up as a promotional products company or a licensing company that actually, you know, buys licensed brands and they're able to print on the shirts and resell them to retails or wholesale sell those designs and, and apparel to consumers. All right, so if you are a wholesale distributor, they will, uh, they will qualify you as long as you have the licensing and the business model for that. And then the way that the majority of you guys will qualify is by being a brand. And that essentially means you are creating your own line of products, your own brand, you're branding it, you're using wholesale apparel, and you're reselling it online through a retailer at events, wherever that may be. All right, so essentially those are the three major ways that you guys will get approved to be a wholesale buyer for a lot of these major brands. Okay, so the easiest route is just to brand your own products, resell them, that's the way that you'll get access to the back end to be able to purchase. And if you're not in that business, then see if you can get into the printing business or the promotional products industry. All right, so by using these methods that we just discussed, such as making sure that your business is registered, having a DBA, getting your resale certificate from the state, and then launching your website and your brand online, then you're able to apply into the back end of their system where you'll submit all the information and get the approval to be able to access their database and start ordering products. Now I wanna jump into the part of ordering products as well so you guys are acquainted with that and you kind of realize what some of this terminology is and how shipping and everything else works. So let's jump into that part. 
to create an account with Bella Canvas, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, as long as you have all that paperwork ready, you'll be pretty good to go. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna include your company information, your website, like I mentioned, is you wanna make sure that you, that you keep your website, that you launch your website so there's something to show. And then from there, it's gonna ask you for your business address, your resale number, which is the actual uh, wholesale tax ID that you got from your city or state. Um, this is the PPAI. This PPAI is a promotional products thing that we just talked about. And these are the different industries in that, in that category. You're gonna want your phone number, your contact information, as well as your primary business activity. So as you can see here, distributor, decorator, or manufacturer, you're more than likely going to run into the, the, the decorator side of things and uh, you could also be a distributor because you're, you're actually distributing these products online or in retail stores. All right, and then you let them know the number of employees, any sales reps, how you heard about us. Let's go ahead and put my name on there. Just be like, what's up, John Santos is the man, something like that. And uh, just let them know that you run into me. And then from there, tell them the story, how, uh, how you started, what you did. This is really gonna help people, instead of it just being an application, really sell them as to the reason why they do need to approve you. All right, so from there, create your password and email. And then, like it says right here, the resale certificate, attach your resale certificate to them. They'll be able to, uh, they include some of, uh, some states here. So essentially what this is, is this is like a, a, a sample certificate from um, from those states. So if you're located in those states, you could just use their layout and then you can actually fill in this application. This is gonna be the application that you're also going to send in to any other wholesale companies that you wanna buy their products from, all right? So you put your name, address, um, the, the nature of the business, what you sell. So if you're a brand, you're a brand that sells online or maybe through retail stores. And the description of what you're buying, whether that's shirts, hats, jackets, pants. And then right here, if you fall into any of these categories, you can also check mark those. And then you print your name and you sign your name and you send them that form. If your form isn't located on their website, it's completely cool. Just go ahead and do a Google search for your state's resale certificate and it'll print out a format that you could fill out and send in to them. All right, so that's essentially what you're gonna send in to them, but you're gonna need everything else that we discussed to create this form and validate this form. All right, and then from there, you're able to buy wholesale. Once you submit the order and you make your payment, you can select to where you wanna get it shipped. All right, so this is something that you could also consider is if you don't have a lot of room to store a lot of products and you know that it's you may not be home or whatnot, and you could talk to the factory or the whoever's making your actual designs or printing your products or embroidering it, you can ask them for their shipping address and verify that they're gonna be available on the date that it's going to be shipped. All right, so you can ship directly to the factory or you can ship to your home, but either way, you're gonna need to make sure that things get inspected. All right, so an inspection of whatever it is that you received is going to be crucial to verifying that you're gonna get the products the way that you envisioned. All right, there is a chance that some products may get messed up either in transit or uh, at the factory level. And even though reputable companies like Bella Canvas do an amazing quality control check, there's always things that can fall through the cracks. All right, guys, so you always wanna make sure that you check and inspect your products before they start getting printed or before they get any type of embellishment on them. All right, last thing you want is to make a product and then you realize that, that the colors are off or whatever whatever it may be, that one of the buckles is off. If you're buying accessories, you wanna make sure that the products that you received are as you wanted to receive them. All right, so like I mentioned, Bella Canvas is really good because they'll tell you if they're out of stock or in stock as soon as they find out, but you never know if anything slips through the crack, so just stay on top of it. Awesome guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to really take away some of the important key steps into how you're gonna be able to buy wholesale, register your business to buy wholesale, and more importantly, be approved to buy wholesale. All right, so now for those of you guys that are watching and maybe you're, you're out watching this video and you're not at the stages of actually setting up your business and going throughout this whole entire process, I am going to give you guys some ways that you can still buy wholesale products and um, not have to do all that. 
If you're not able to go through all these steps that I just listed, either because you don't have the money or you don't have the time and you just wanna launch your brand with the minimum viable product and you wanna launch it ASAP, ways to buy wholesale products are as follows. The first is going to be to actually get the wholesale products directly from the printers and the manufacturers that you're doing business with. All right, so those guys will have access to a lot of the major brands that are that are like Bella Canvas and any other accessories that you may be interested in. They'll be able to actually buy those products directly from them and they'll provide them to you at the cost that they paid for. All right, a lot of the times they do do that as part of their service and they also have access and they may even stock a few items already in in their shop so you don't even have to order anything uh, and then you don't have to pay any extra shipping or anything another way that you can get your hands on these products is going to be to buy directly from major distributors now major distributors are companies that already have accounts with them and they have rights to certain regions or territories and you're able to buy directly from them directly from their websites or even directly from their showrooms which may be located in your guys' area buying directly from distributors is going to allow you to bypass a lot of the regulations and rules that we just talked about some may still request those kinds of items but for the most part you should be pretty good in buying from distributors now the third and final way to actually get your hands on products that are only available if you're a wholesale buyer is by buying them directly online, whether that's eBay, whether that's Amazon, or any other third party seller that's not a distributor and it's maybe a private party that has access to them because they either bought too much or whatever that situation is. You can find some of these products online, but one thing to definitely be aware of is that if you are buying from unauthorized distributors is that it can be bootlegged and it cannot be the same product that you would expect if you bought it directly from the from the factory or from the authorized distributor. A lot of these knockoff companies will come in and they'll actually just relabel their knockoff products with different brands or they may just be buying different shirts, relabeling, whatever it is, it's not authorized and it's not legit. And you'll find that out the hard way when you actually go to print and you see that colors are off and that it's and, and that it was essentially a white t-shirt before and now it's a black one. You know, so you wanna make sure that that doesn't happen to you guys. Whatever colors you're getting is going to be the original color. And it's not a second where they change the colors on you and they're still labeling it as a certain shirt. Um, that's the last thing that you want. You wanna make sure you buy directly, you buy genuine products from whoever it is that you're that you're doing business with, all right? But if you have to buy them because you need them, because you wanna start sampling, then that's a way to go as well. All right guys, so I hope you appreciate and you really take into consideration everything that we did. I hope you are now able to start launching your brand and buying quality wholesale products from all kinds of companies after you do all these steps that I just showed you. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them right below this video. And huge shout outs to Bella Canvas for making this video possible. Make sure you guys check out the recent videos and playlists, which I'll link right over here somewhere in this area. And then from there, you guys will be able to continue learning about printing, about making products, and more importantly, about continuing to grow your brand. All right, so as I stated at the beginning of this video, for those of you guys that are watching and still watching till the end, if you haven't already signed up to the insider list, make sure you head on over there right now and do so. All right, we're launching amazing content and amazing things in the next few weeks, and we've already started rolling a lot of that out. All right, so if you haven't recently checked in on your email, go open up that email and start reading some of the things that we put together, and more specifically, some of the things that we're gonna launch in the next few weeks, which are gonna be game changers. And I know a lot of you guys will be able to truly use that and blow your business up and just make it so simple for you guys to start. All right, so as always, if you have any questions that you wanna send privately, just click right below this video, expand it, hit me up on Instagram or reply to any of the emails that you're getting. I do have those responses and we'll be more active in the email inbox to make sure you guys are taken care of. All right, so I appreciate everything that you guys do and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.